scam ourselves all the time. You know, our limited perceptions of reality, a prevailing theme on brain games, are limited and our brain is filling in the blanks, often scamming us, often making the wrong conclusions about our encounters with daily life. But we're also susceptible to being scammed by others. What's really interesting is that scammers can actually exploit the fact that our brains are primed to believe everything we hear and see, at least at first. If I tell you I'm gonna give you five million dollars here, for a second you're like, whoa, he's offering me money, it's real, it must be real. And you'll quickly dismiss that, you'll be like, that's the host of brain games, he's probably BSing me. We have these cognitive biases that make us susceptible to being scammed. One of them is called the halo effect. If somebody is dressed really nice, if they have a suit or a nice shirt, we automatically assume them to be more trusting, even though there's no reason for us to, you know, it's just us like immediately assuming Assuming, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about because he's got a button-down shirt and it's tucked in. We have a neurochemical in our brain called oxytocin, which is the chemical of trust. And scammers know this and they know how to kind of induce its release. And hopefully you learn a couple of tips so that you can avoid being scammed yourself.